Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to wear the pink and black stuntman shoes as well as the red and the green biker suit boots with other bottoms besides just the standard black shorts that you normally can. We're going to be doing this with a component transfer glitch. This is a throwback to a video I recorded last May when the director mode component transfer glitch was just around, but these components and this method will work for any component transfer glitch that is available. You will find a link to whatever is available if it's not patched in the description, links to component list, and then we're gonna actually create six full outfits in this video. So you'll also find each individual outfit there. I'm not gonna show you every single one that I'm making. That will just take up way too much time to make the video so long. But at the end, when I show you the results of what I made, if you'd like any of those outfits, you can obviously drop down the description and see exactly what I use to create them. And then as always, there's gonna be tips and tricks in this video. So let's get right into it. I rambled on long enough. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is start on your male character. Once on your mail, you're going to go over to any clothing store desk and we're going to purchase a few items to be able to create this outfit. What you're going to need here is you're going to need the stuntman suits. So you've got a black shoed one, a gray shoed one, a pink shoed one, and a gold shoe one. It doesn't matter which one you purchase. It could be the cheapest one that's on that list. And then you're also going to need one of the body suits, the luminous electric or the neon body suit. Now I do want to tell you that I am going to be testing all of these other suit shoes like the air racing suit even maybe some deadline just to see if it ends up working with this glitch. I don't think it does. Um, and then like the rest of the stuntman outfits maybe, and then some of the biker suit boots as well. But for now, the ones that I already have on the component list are the four stuntman shoes on the male character. So once you have whatever one of those that you'd like to wear or put together for this video, you're gonna want to then head to the top section at the clothing store and you need to purchase under suit jackets, the black tail coat. This is very important for a step in this glitch that I'm gonna show you here in just a second. And then once you've got that black tail coat purchased, we are gonna head to a telescope. You can use the one in your CEO office, which is what you'll see me using. You can use in the one in your apartment, at the beach, anywhere in the map, any of those telescopes will work. And then what I'm doing in the video is I'm saving each suit that I'm gonna be using in an outfit slot. And I'm labeling it S and J at the end. And that's because I'm gonna show you how to get these with the sweats, which equal the checkered shorts, or the jeans, which equals skinny jeans on the female character when you do a component transfer glitch. So I'm gonna show you six examples here of outfits and put them together, but I'm also gonna show you how you would even start to create these outfits. So most of you are probably familiar with this glitch, but what you do is you put on the bodysuit, do not save it. And then you run at the telescope, hold right on your D-pad, and then you should stop but not look through the telescope. If it takes you a couple of tries, that's fine. Just make sure that you kind of glitch out and stand there, but don't look through the telescope. So once you do that, you're gonna open up your interaction menu, go to style and select that saved outfit with the stunt shoes on. Then close out of your interaction menu, walk away, and you'll see the bodysuit mask glitch under this. Now the next step is very important. You're gonna go into your closet, go to the top section first. And this is where you're gonna select either no top, which will give you the sweats, or you're going to select under suit jackets, the black tailcoat, which will give you the jeans. When you do make that top selection, you'll see that the pants that you had on before with the suit glitched away, but you are left with the shoes. Now again, some of you are probably already familiar with this glitch. I hope that you are. If not, you just learned something. When you do this on the female character, you just get some plain black shorts and then you cannot change the pants or the shorts, so you're kind of just stuck with that. So I'm just gonna show you this first outfit that I'm creating here, and then I'm gonna show you one more time the actual glitch, and then when I am at the end, I'll show you all the outfits I created, and then we'll transfer. So the first outfit has a rolled splinter t-shirt. We've got the platinum rope chain and some black woolen gloves. And then you could just save that over whatever you had on slot number one or whatever slot you're using. If you wanted to have a, a checkerboard beanie, you can add the white fedora with it as well, like I did. And then there's a really cool outfit that comes out of this. I'm actually pretty proud. It looked really good. <laughs> so once you have that saved, you're gonna just complete the process if you're doing a couple of outfits at the same time. Put on the bodysuit, don't save it. Head to the telescope, hold right on your D-pad until you glitch out open up your interaction menu go to style and then select the next saved outfit that had that suit on when you walk away you see the mask glitch on to that outfit go up into your closet and you change the top first it's very important to change the top first so this time we're going to go into our top suit jackets and we're going to go to that black tail coat and when you put on the black tail coat it changes the sweats 
to jeans. And then you can just remove all of that, go to no top or just put whatever top you wanted on this outfit. And now you're gonna end up having the shoe component with regular fitted skinny jeans. So we're going with the charcoal denim biker jacket here, a camo tank top. I'm gonna to add the platinum rope chain on this again. And then make sure you do also as well, I should really note this, take off the hats or the helmets on these outfits as well. Obviously I did it before because I put on the white fedora, but make sure you're taking off that helmet too. It's very, very, very important to do that. And then the gloves I'm adding with this one are gonna be the blue surgical gloves. Save that on spot number two, and then you can just repeat the process for every outfit that you're doing. If you're making all of the outfits that I show here in the video, I did mess up on a couple of them, but if you're making all the outfits that I show here in the video, you're just gonna kinda keep it going here. So eventually I ended up with six outfits. I am again going to include the full outfit components in the description. What I'm also going to include is on one of the outfits I didn't add gloves and I meant to so I am going to include the gloves in the description for this outfit in case you wanted to have the exact outfit. Then I'm just going to show you what transfers here and again I did make a little boo-boo but that's okay. I was testing something as well when we were doing this. So there, these are the outfits here. What you see are the pink, the gray, the black, and the gold stunt shoes with different bottoms based on the top that we added with them and then also some components some tops some accessories so once you do a, a component transfer glitch go back on your female character and you should have these items transferred so the first outfit you've seen had a pink jacket on it some pink shoes and then random checkered items and headphones Obviously with checkered items, you are limited to what you saved on that outfit, but the second outfit just had jeans and some pink sneakers. You can change the top to anything, even though I made a boo-boo. Third outfit was a fully checkered outfit, which looked really nice. And then you had a green biker suit outfit that had the green gloves and then the checkered shorts. So you do have to make sure when you're putting on helmets, you have to be careful with that. Then you've got green biker suit boots again with jeans and then a green top. And then this is the outfit that I was saying in the component list in the description, I'm gonna leave a glove component on this and I might even change the necklace too when I'm including that in there but I thought it looked really neat this probably would look better with jeans to be honest but with checkered items as always you are limited to the style that you transferred over from the mail so just make sure you're adding every single component you want it if you're doing the sweatpants on the mail the ones that turn into the checkered shorts for the female character before doing the transfer. If you do the jeans, you're okay. As long as you didn't have any other checkered items on that outfit, you can change the top to anything you want it. You can add anything to that outfit, it'll be fine. But you cannot change the pants on either of these. You are stuck and you are limited to what you have. So if you did get this little green outfit right here with this green jacket, I did want to show you that you can open up these jackets and you'll see here that a green tie appeared underneath. That was one of the components I transferred. And then you can change the top to anything you want, make the outfit a bit more unique, but only if you don't have checkered items attached. I know I keep stressing that, but people always ask me why they can't make changes to their outfit. So you get some really cool outfit pieces and components just from these six outfits that I'm showing you right here. If you do like these, I will try my very best to get the rest of the component list updated with any other shoes I can find throughout the night. And then I will just leave links to that in the, um, in the description. And then I'll also post updates on Twitter usually and on Instagram. So thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. I hope you like this video. I hope you're excited to wear the stuntman shoes at least with other styles of shorts than just the black ones because everyone always asks about that. And I hope this is easy enough for you to understand. So I'm going to try my best to make a very similar outfit for the male character to the pink top, pink shoes, and checkerboard shorts one. It will be exactly the same method if you guys are curious or looking for how to do that. You'll be able to wear these stuntman shoes with checkerboard shorts, which the black shorts on the fem female do equal the checkerboard shorts on the male. So hopefully you guys like this. Check my Instagram for more information if the male outfit does come about. But drop a like, subscribe, leave me some comments, and I'll see you soon with more glitch videos.